What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I'm back with a laser. I've not done a video on a laser for a little while, a couple of weeks or so. And today I am testing on some glass. Well, not exactly onto the glass. I'm doing the reverse side so that you can see it through the glass. This is going to be used as a cutting board or somewhere to make a cup of tea, something like that, just to stop the work surface getting messed up. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to design it on the computer. Uh, we're going to do it in reverse. We're going to engrave it onto the back. So this is the back. Once I've engraved it, I need to spray paint the back. All right, guys. So I have my design loaded up in K40 Whisperer. The fun part now will be aligning this with this uh, sheet. So I'm hoping that... Uh, uh, being able to use this piece, I should be able to align it quite well. So I'm going to do a really quick, really low power test on this board. I'm going to see where that is relative to the board underneath. So I'm doing this at 400 millimeters a second at around 6 milliamps power. All right, we're all set to go. This is apparently going to take 10 minutes. I'm quite happy with the positioning of how centered that is. So um, we'll get rid of the scrap piece. Try not to move any. Got my speed set to 300 millimeters a second. Uh, I'm gonna put the air assist on and we're gonna get going. All right guys, so the engraving's done. It kind of looks like if you leave the protective layer on acrylic, uh, you get the little mottled effect. And it seems like that's kind of what it's done. I thought I might be able to come in with a brush and maybe clean it up on there pretty well. We're going to do another pass. We're going to see how it turns out and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so that's the second coat, and it seems to have gone quite far. I mean, it, it's, it's engraved fairly deeply, but I think because of the way this stuff is, I think it's just melting it as it goes through, and then it can't engrave any deeper. I mean, I can't move it with a brush, but I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to see what it looks like. That already looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with that. All right, guys, we're over at the assembly table. I've got the chopping board here. Uh, I've got my spray paint, this is just black spray paint, just from uh, the local shop. Just one of the ones I have lying around. I would do this outside, but today it is super windy and rainy. So I'm doing this in my room where I do all my assembly and little bits and pieces like that. I have the window open and it's going to be well ventilated and after I've sprayed this, I'm going to be leaving the room anyway and just going to wait for 10 minutes or so while this dries and then I'll come back and see how it looks. We're just going to spray over the whole area and uh, we'll go from there. So let's give it a go. Right, this can really is not happy, so I'm going to prop it up on an angle so I can hold the can more upright. I mean, it feels like there's a lot left in there, so I'm just going to prop it up and uh, we're going to go pretty much straight on because spray cans don't like going down anyway. Right, try this again.
There is a lot in here. I can feel it. But I don't think there's much air left. So we're going to let that dry, then we'll come back and we'll see how it looks. Alright guys, check it out, what do you think? I think this looks really cool, uh, it's turned out amazingly well. The spray paint on the back's dried and it just looks absolutely brilliant. I'm really happy with the results. If you wanted to do something similar to this, then uh, just follow the steps that I did. I'm gonna try some mirrors in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've tried this on something else and it's turned out great, let me know down below. Uh, if you wanna see more of how I do things like this, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.